So we are going to conclude our reading from the Nectar of Instruction, which is an authorized English presentation of Srila Rupa Goswami Sri Pateshamrit. And the last verse is verse number 11. Mukha Bhagavati Vachanam Pangam Nange Tegiri Yad Kripa Pangam Nande Shri Gurum Din Tani Dham Parmananda Bhatham Shri Chaitanya Shri Maharyam Tasa Krishna Siyo Chaya Pranaya Vasati Hai Priyasi Bhyo Api Radha Kundam Chasya Munibhir Abhitas Tadrig Ev Vyadhai Yad Preshthair Api Alam Asulubham किम पुनर भक्ति भाजाम तत प्रेमेदम सकृद अपि सरह स्नातुर आविश करोती So word to word meaning is like this. Krishna se of Lord Shri Krishna ucha hai very highly. Pranaya vasati hai object of love. Prayasi bhaya out of many lovable gopis. Api certainly Radha Shrimati Radharani. Kundam lake cha also asya ha of her. Munibhi by great sages, Abhitaha in all respects, Tadrik Eva similarly. Vyadhai is described, Yat which Preshtai by the most advanced devotees, Api even Alam enough, Asalubham difficult to obtain, Kim what, Punaha again Bhakti Bhajam for persons engaged in devotional service, Tat that Prema love of Godhead, Idam this Sakrit once. Api even Sarah Lake, Snatu of one who has bathed. Avish Karoti arouses. Translation of the many objects of favored delight and of all the lovable damsels of Rajabhumi, Srimadhi Radharani is certainly the most treasured object of Krishna's love, and in every respect her divine Kunda is described by great sages as similarly dear to him. Undoubtedly, Radha Kunda is very rarely attained. Even by the great devotees, therefore, it is even more difficult for ordinary devotees to attain. If one simply bathes once within those holy waters, one's pure love of Krishna is fully aroused. Purport by Shri Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Why is Radha Kund so exalted? The lake is so exalted because it belongs to Srimati Radharani, who is the most beloved object of Sri Krishna. Among all the gopis, she is the most beloved. Similarly, her lake, Sri Radha Kund, is also described by great sages as the lake that is as dear to Krishna as Radha herself. Indeed, Krishna's love for Radha Kund and Srimati Radharani is the same in all respects. Radha Kund is very rarely attained even by great personalities fully engaged in devotional service, not to speak of ordinary devotees who are only engaged in the practice of Vaidhi Bhakti. Vaidhi Bhakti is Bhakti with the, all the rules and regulations. It is stated that a devotee will at once develop pure love of Krishna in the wake of the gopis if he once takes a bath in Radha Kund. Srila Rupa Goswami recommends that even if one cannot live permanently on the banks of Radha Kund, he should at least take a bath in the lake as many times as possible. This is a most important item in the execution of devotional service. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur writes in this connection that Sri Radha Kund is the most select place for those interested in advancing their devotional service in the wake of the lady friends, Sakhis, and the confidential serving maids, that is the manjaris of Srimati Radharani. Living entities who are eager to return home to the transcendental kingdom of God, Goloka Vrindavan, by means of attaining their spiritual body, that is the Siddha Deha, should live at Radhakund, take shelter of the confidential serving maids of Sri Radha and under their direction engage constantly in a service. This is the most exalted method for those engaged in devotional service under the protection of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In this connection, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Thakur writes that even great sages and great devotees like Narada and Sanak do not get an opportunity to come to Radha Kund to take their baths. What then to speak of ordinary devotees? If by great fortune one gets an opportunity to come to Radha Kund and bathe even once, he can develop his transcendental love for Krishna. Exactly as the gopis did, it is also recommended that one should live on the banks of Radha Kund and should be absorbed in the loving service of the Lord. One should bathe there regularly and give up all material conceptions, taking shelter of Shirada and her assistant gopis. 
If one is thus constantly engaged during his lifetime, after giving up the body, he will return to Godhead to serve Sri Radha in the same way as he contemplated during his life on the banks of Radhakund. The conclusion is that to live on the banks of Radhakund and to bathe there daily constitute the highest perfection of devotional service. It is difficult to position to attain even for great sages and devotees like Narad, thus there is no limit of the glory to the glory of Sri Radhakund. By serving Radhakund, one can get an opportunity to become an assistant of Srimati Radharani under the eternal guidance of the gopis. So thus we end reading from the Nectar of Instruction. It is a beautiful little book which tells us all about the highest perfection one can develop in the devotional service, devotional life, bhakti. And it is by Srila Rupa Goswami. And the book looks like this. So thank you for joining. We'll continue our readings next time with some other nectar. Hari of Tatsat. Hare Krishna, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Shri Rupa Goswami ki jai, Radha Rakund ki jai, Shri Shri Radha Krishna ki jai.